Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> oh wait, shit, I was, I was supposed to get my eyes closed for this one, wasn't it? Okay. Can I look now? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Yeah. And there is a solution, by the way. Oh, there is? Oh, God. Okay. The only way to is this easy. No, no, that's not true. It's not. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Ah! I have a feeling I know what one is now. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Okay, I'm Mr. J. Ducky, J. C. Manu Chip, Jimmy Dorn, Chris Dunker. This is the beginner's guide. Um, and yeah, that was quite a drastic intro. Hello. Oh. Is that the person? How lovely it's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. It's because I am lost. the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. I chose for you. And yet still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? And you were supposed to again. From my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on.
You oh, can't so simple. talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, this Coda so takes weird. another seven months and comes up with a new game. I, I, I don't know. <coughs> it's weird. Just be warned that someone caught first, so we might have a bit of tension on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine, it calls itself Coda. Oh, okay. Piss off. No comment, no comment, no comment! Close it down, though. And of course, it's the machine. Could we possibly go back to trusting you to do this job? Carefully, I know how to hurt you. Alright, then I will apologize to the people on your behalf. Oh. Towards the press room. My friends! My people! I have a troubling revelation. The machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt us. But this is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. Let us show it that we are not failures. Follow me. We will destroy the machine. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. God damn it. Oh. 
Cut it, I will make sure your work dies here. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape game. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need, to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble, and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. But. Um, there's always a but. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna post this one here and we'll pick this up in the next episodes. Uh, it, it's really getting quite deep, this game. Deeper than what I was expecting it to. Uh, It's a really interesting game. I, I, I just I don't know what to say for it though because it's not something that I've played before. It's not something that I'm used to. This is an entirely different type of game that I've never really played before. Um, it's a really well-made game so far. The narrative is quite good. But I don't know, it's, it's a strange game. And we'll see how it goes. So this has been episode 4. I've been Mr. J. Ducky. Jack at Sea. Random Adventure Trip. Jim and Darman. Chris Dankar, whatever the hell you want to call me. This has been... <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just put my... Oh my god. <laughs> I just... I did that with my hands and my hands are cold. And my ring just went... Whew, and went right in my cup of tea. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> this has been the Beginner's Guide. If you've enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. Let me know what you enjoyed in the comments and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, thumbs down. Comment below what you think could be done better and what you want to see more of on the channel. Thank you for watching and I am going to go and retrieve my ring. Adios.